Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning. Latest data, latest trends. The next item of interest is this southern track area of low pressure that will pull out of California, hit parts of um, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado, 1-3 to 1-5. That sort of opens the door for the big pattern-changing low uh, that's coming around 1-6-1-7. There's a vanguard area of snow that will race down through uh, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado on 1-5. Just some very light snow accumulations, but sort of that leading edge of the pattern changing low, which is a very strong storm system. And that's part of the main storm cycle, 1-5 through 1-12. There's two or three different storm systems lined up. So you'll get the pattern changing low, another one on its coattails, and potentially a third one coming in behind all that. And each one will bring cold fronts with progressively colder temperatures. That'll help with snow generation. Um, and obviously take that snow level and really lower it. And that's going to be the case in the Pacific Northwest, much lower snow levels um, for most of the Pacific Northwest, Washington, Oregon, and BC once we get into the heart of this pattern. In the Northeast, you've got a pretty strong low coming, 1617. The storm track still looks like it's only going to brush the big ski areas of the Northeast with uh, moderate to heavy snow. If the storm track were to shift a little further north, then we'd be back into the much larger totals. That doesn't look like that's going to be the case at this point. Another a strong storm system, 19110, with 70 mile an hour winds, heavy snow over to a rain snow mix. So both of these storm systems coming out of the, what's happening out west with this pattern shift, holding together and developing into a strong, both of them, strong storm systems in the northeast. I'll show you both. First, though, I want to take you to a water vapor satellite imagery. So there's our California low. That'll become the southern track storm. Utah, Arizona, Colorado, and New Mexico, 1-3 to 1-5. This storm system behind it is a powerhouse. That's our pattern changing area of low pressure. That's the one that once it rotates in, it brings an entire storm cycle with it, with areas of low pressure sort of rotating in behind this once it sets up shop. And that will come in from the Pacific Northwest in Canada, buckle that northern branch of the jet and drag that colder air down, and that's where we're going to get much more widespread snow. Here's how it plays out on the forecast radar and satellite. So there's our southern track low by tomorrow morning, moving through Utah, Arizona, Colorado, and New Mexico all the way through the afternoon hours and even into 1-5, it starts to pull away. Now on 1-5, here comes that area of snow, that light snow, that Vanguard snow racing down through Idaho, Montana, and eventually into the Tetons, the Wasatch, and into Colorado during the day on 1-5. Just the leading edge of our big storm system. There it goes. Here it comes into the Pacific Northwest. Watch it on 1-6 into 1-7, makes its move. And by the time we get into 1-7, much colder air crashing north to south, a lot of jet stream support, widespread snow. You can see it there. Uh, during the afternoon hours, same kind of thing. Dives down into uh, Colorado and New Mexico. Now there's another storm behind it. Look up into the Pacific Northwest. That'll be the next storm, and there's potentially even one more behind that. So again, eventually two or three different storm systems here all lined up with this, uh, this storm cycle. All right, let me take you into the jet stream pattern. So this is 1-5, and with this you can see up in the Pacific Northwest and parts of Canada, uh, the dip in the jet, that, that's the big trough. That's the big storm system that will eventually move in with colder air. And you can really see it here on 1-7. Look at the trough, the dip in the jet here with that amplified jet bringing down the cold air. Montana, Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Colorado, New Mexico. And even further down the road, here's the second area of low pressure. Look at that big broad trough, it's just wide open with that cold air coming in. Uh, from the north through most of the Intermountain West. So good snow production there. And there could even be one storm behind that. All right, snow numbers. Uh, basically today through tomorrow, only light, light to moderate accumulations through Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona with that southern track storm. Um, some moderate snow accumulations up at the Pacific Northwest and B.C. Banff. This is the exciting period, though. Grand totals 1-5 through 1-12. Keep in mind, this doesn't all fall at one time. You've got two to three different storm systems delivering these grand totals. And that's what these are, grand totals. So we'll start in the Pacific Northwest, two to three feet uh, through parts of Whistler, Baker, Stevens, Rainier, four or five or more feet through Timberline and Bachelor. A really nice, rich flow up in the central to northern Idaho, northwest Montana, and interior BC with one to two feet. A couple or three feet for the Tetons, a couple of feet for the Wasatch, in Colorado, the heaviest snow western and southwest Colorado, you've got one to two feet there. And less snow, about a foot through Summit County up on the Continental Divide, and about a foot down through uh, parts of northern New Mexico. All right, let me go up through the, uh, the northeast here. So this is pretty similar to what I was showing yesterday afternoon, 
last night, although the, the numbers are going to vary wildly. You can see a pocket of a couple of feet up there in the parts of New Hampshire, Maine, over Mount Washington. Um, again, this assumes that track stays just south of the big ski areas on 1617. If it wobbles north, then these numbers could tick up. But there's another big storm, 19110. Like I said, very strong winds, 70 mile an hour winds, potentially heavy snow at first, changing over to rain snow mix. So, uh, again, both storm systems uh, have to be watched. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here to this morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate you and take care.